Oh, look at that. The happy couple. Still didn't remind me of me and my wife. I, I wouldn't say we're classifying ourselves as a couple just yet. We're still in the flank stage. My favorite stage. Stage. <laughs> we're, um, we're gonna go get some more champagne. Do you guys need anything? Yeah, a good divorce lawyer. Oh, sorry. Can't help you. That's one good looking man. I wonder if he'll be my wingman now that I'm single. What do you think? You know, I don't understand the whole PDA thing. You know, people like couples going around showing their affection in public. I mean, what's that about? Having to walk through the grocery store, holding hands, getting in my way. Why do they have to like ex express their love like 24 seven? I don't understand it. And people, that arm around the shoulder, that is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. People walking down the street with, oh, I got my arm around your shoulder. How are you supposed to walk like that? You're not hurt, you're not being cared by the military. That doesn't make any sense to me. Right. It's just a party. Loosen up. I am loose. Why do people assume I'm so wound up all the time? How's your drink? Empty. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you believe this? Laura and Tall Ryan are dating. How can she do that? She, he's such a complete ass. I thought he was Hot Ryan. No, that's aside the point. What's, what really annoys me is the fact that she didn't even mention this the entire time that they've been dating. I, mean, I don't understand women who do that. Like they, like they keep information hidden. Like if, you know, like when you meet a girl like at a bar or somewhere and like you're talking, you're talking and then like hitting it off and you keep talking and talking and you're spending all this time talking to them and then they drop that stupid word. Oh, my boyfriend. And you're like, what? Why didn't you tell me that earlier? Why did you think I was talking to you in the first place? That doesn't make any sense. Now I just spent a half hour talking about stupid, useless crap like the differences between Scorpios and Sagittarius is, or whatever the plural Sagittarius is, is. Sagittarii? Hey okay, guys, refill? I was personally thinking of something a little stronger. Uh, I'll go fix something up for us. I'll have one. Okay. Um, so. A needle pulling thread? What? Sound of music? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, no. Sorry, I'm. Fan of musicals, I mean, that's the most attractive quality in a man. Oh, come on, Ryan. Musicals make no sense anyway. The guy always gets the girl in the end, and that's not how real life is. Well, I mean, people don't randomly break into song in real life either, so. Mm, I do all the time. And, well, I mean, it's in the shower, but I still, you know, belt out a show tune or two. Right. Well, Ryan, um, Ryan, I just want to talk about this whole you and I situation? I mean, I don't want to ignore the problem. You know what's underrated? Sweeping the problem under the rug. I'm an excellent sweeper. Love to sweep. I was raised to sweep. We were great sweepers in my family. The entire history of sweepers. We're the, we're the best. Yeah, but I, I'm not a sweeper, so I just want to explain everything to you so you understand. I mean, explain what? That you and Hot Ryan are dating and you just decided not to tell me. You just ignore me let the problem happen. Well, it was actually kind of was an accident. Really? Just accidentally? Accidentally happened? Yes. How, so you accidentally called him, he accidentally answered the phone, and you two accidentally agreed to go to a restaurant together, you know, accidentally agreed to sit at the same table together? And next thing you know, you accidentally went back to your place or his place, and, uh, well, we accidentally know what happened next, and now you two are accidentally dating. Wow, that's one great big accident. That's amazing. Hey, guys, I never thought it'd come to this, but I need some advice. I'm trying to bag that makeup girl, and it's not working out for me. Hey, hey, hey. Did it hurt? Did, did it hurt when you, when you fell from heaven? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Maybe it hurt when you got thrown up from hell. Is that the line Hot Ryan used on you, probably? Hmm? Oh, you really think that would work on me? Please, I mean, I've seen how you are when he's around. You become like a horny teenager. I'm sure if he called you an angel, that would have sealed the deal. And like, oh, pants off. Oh, now. wow. You really think that I I'm do. that shallow? Hey, guys, Charlie sent me over because he needed someone to interrupt before the yelling began. Okay, nobody's yelling, Shelly. Yeah, we're just talking the way friends. Do. Okay, you, you know, know what? Shelly, let me ask you something now that you're here. I'm sure uh, a lot of guys have used some sleazy lines on you, and, uh, and obviously you've fallen for them. Ryan, don't be mean. No, 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 no. no. Shelly, I mean, let's, let's say a guy came up to you and said, you know, did it hurt when you fell? I fell? You know, from, from heaven.
heaven because you're an angel. Well, angels can't fall from heaven because they have wings and they can fly back up. See, women are smarter than you realize. Yes, and if I was an angel and I had wings, I could wear a cape and be Superman. No, you can't be Superman. Shelly, you're a girl. You'd be Supergirl, but you can't be Superman, that's for sure. Why can't I be Superman? You can't be Superman, Shelly. Why not? Let me, okay. Try to focus on what I'm going to tell you, because usually you don't pay attention when I'm talking, or when anyone talking, so listen carefully. You cannot be Superman, Shelly, okay? Let me, let me explain to you who Superman is. Superman is a big, strong man. He flies around, he saves people. He actually cares about people. He cares about people's feelings, unlike some women. That's why you can't be Superman. Do you understand that? You're not gonna be Superman, you're never gonna be Superman, so remember that. So stop crying and you can't be Superman. It's not that big of a deal, all right? What is wrong with you? Shelly. Just trying to clarify who can be Superman and who can't be Superman. We don't need another Man of Steel fiasco. This is the face of an unemployed actor. Should I sell my car? Oh, stop worrying. It's my job to worry about whether or not you're unemployed. What's the Kelly Blue Book value on that, though? I should just sell it. Stop. You just have fun tonight, and let me work my magic. Things are going very well with the director. I have everything under control. Man, the women at this party suck. I'm just getting turned down all the time. It's like they don't realize how great I am. It's like the worst possible thing that can happen at a party, you know, besides the woman who I'm madly in love with coming with her much hotter boyfriend who's better than me at everything that matters. That would suck, you know? Seeing that guy here being so much better than me. Sexier, bigger. You know, like you and Laura, you know what I mean? That would be really horrible. Like the way she brought hot Ryan with her. Or right over there, yeah? No, you're making out. It's pretty hot. I was watching it because I was striking out. It's weird. It's weird when you think about it. You ever think about it, that making out? Nah? Doing stuff, like shopping for a house and paying taxes and uh, sex. That would be pretty, uh, I do that sometimes, it's weird. Uh, if you know the sex, um, all right, I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm sorry. Look, okay, look, I'm sorry. I'm just messing with you. It's, I'm so, please don't go don't cry. Oh, man. Look, okay, look, um, we'll kick his ass, huh? What do you think? Me and you, huh? Mostly me, because, you know, we're not insulting you anymore. Uh, you are a great person, so you just sit right there, and I'll take care of him. I'll figure something out. Cinder block or something. <laughs> you know, I took a little bit of karate when I was a kid, what's, you know, bam, and then it'll be done. You know what I mean? It's nothing, it's nothing for me. So no, it might be a little something, cause you know, he probably knows a thing or two that looks like a fit guy. Yeah, we'll probably have to hire somebody. I'll hire, don't worry, I'll hire. Just don't worry about, it. I'll find somebody bigger than him, right? Bigger, maybe blacker. That usually helps, right? You know what I'm talking about? Just. To... Hey, what's average. going on, guys? Oh, hey! Ow! Oh, my favorite, Ryan. Rowan and hugging. Rowan and hugging, man. 
Bro and hug. You doing all right? Hey, hey, hey. You gonna? Yep. All right. I'm dunking it. Dunking it. You had a chance to lay up, but you didn't want to do that. So, how are you doing? You doing great. This is a nice jacket. That feels good. That's gotta be real leather, isn't it? That's real leather. Man, you ever kill a cow? Is it just me, or are you hot in here? Well, you remember that line that I hate at parties, guys? I did. Yeah. You done being an ass? Well, as a man, I don't think I'll ever be done being an ass, but i uh, give it a try. But, um, look, I, seriously, I though, I'm, I'm very sorry about earlier. I didn't mean, I, you know, I never want to yell at you, so that was just out of character. I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't know what happened. I didn't. I, I just wanted to talk about things. Actually, can we just not talk about it and just have fun instead? Look great in that suit. Oh, thanks. I mean, you look. Hey, babe. I could use another drink. Okay, babe. Do you uh, need anything else? I don't want to trouble you, but. Oh, come on, I'll be in there anyway. What do you want? Oh, it's fine. Okay. So how's it going, little Ryan? I'm good, tall Ryan. I thought I was hot, Ryan. You know, Laura never mentioned you guys were, uh, were dating. That's kind of strange, then. Oh, relationship's new. I'm still trying to figure her out, though. Well, I can... I mean, I know her pretty well. So, uh, do you know her favorite chocolate? That's important. That's definitely important for her, but don't bother answering. I know you don't. Uh, I was just gonna let you know that uh, milk chocolate, that's, that's her favorite. Of course, you probably didn't know that, but that's okay. But uh, you're welcome for that piece of advice now, by the way. Hmm. Hey, if you want my advice, I'd go over in there and uh, tell that Rachel chick that her clothes look much better on your bedroom floor. If you know what I mean. Go get him, tiger. God, I hate him so much. How about another drink, handsome? Sure. So, how does one look so sexy in this suit? Such big muscles. Are you the hot Ryan? So, I didn't want to talk shop at the party, but I um, was wondering what you thought about Jess. Oh, damn it. Look, I'm not gay. I mean, I know people get that impression about me, <laughs> but it's, it's, it, I'm not interested in Jeff. No, I just wanted to make sure that you keep him in mind for your next project, wherever and whenever that happens to be. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I guess that's why you've been really nice to me. It's kind of like when you... Uh, go to a bar and the cute bartender is flirting with you and you're like, oh wow, she's really nice to me. Maybe I can get her number, but then of course you're like, oh wait, she works for tips, you idiot. Well, sometimes a girl is nice because she wants you to ask her for her number. You never know until you try. Oh, okay, can I get your number? I thought you'd never ask. Wait, really? Yeah, I can talk about anything except work. Oh wow, I'm writing a number on my hand that hasn't been done since the 90s, I don't think. You know what else has gone on the style? Cocktail napkins. No one writes numbers on those anymore. Well, nowadays, people just hand over your phone. You can instantly find out if it's a fake or not. Well, mine isn't fake, and I expect a call after tonight. Jeff! Let's go! Uh. <clears throat> Bye, Ryan. Oh, hey. Babe? I don't care for that name. Well, I mean, who wants to be named after a pig? True. I see your sweet moves got you Rachel's number. Congratulations on that. Well, I wouldn't call them sweet moves. I mean, I, I really don't have moves. I, I, unless you consider being awkward and desperate to move, then well, yeah, sure. But, uh, you know, I'm no hot Ryan. Ryan, shut up. Drink your champagne. Mmm. I could live off this stuff. Was it Jimmy Stewart said in the Philadelphia story? Ah, oh, one of my all time favorite movies, 1940, Catherine Hepburn, Cary Grant, Jimmy Stewart, and uh, they're doing the, the party scene. And uh, I remember he says, uh, you know, whiskey's like a slap on the back kind of drink, but champagne is heavy mist before my eyes. 
You and your movie knowledge. One of my best qualities. Well, that and I can go a long time without using the bathroom. I'm an expert holder. I can hold for days. I was taught to hold. Oh, wow. Hey, um, hey, Ryan. What do you think about dating someone in the film industry? Never do it, as I was once told. Well, I mean, yes, I, I did used to feel that way. But I, I don't know. Sometimes you just meet somebody who's different and, and uh, they just keep surprising you. Well, you know, you have been on a date with someone in the movie industry because uh, I work in the movie industry and we've been on a date. Oh, that wasn't a date. I've, I've um, never been on a date with you. That's not true. Remember when you were fired? Oh, yeah. On the worst day of my life. Thank you for that reminder. Well, that was a date, babe. What exactly constitutes a date for you, anyway? Stop calling me babe. All right, well, I mean, there was candlelight. Um, of course, I burned the table down, but that's beside the point. There was candlelight, and candlelight makes a date. No, candlelight does not equal a date. Okay, let's move on from that. No. No, no. No, no I think this is, this is the topic I want to take a stance against you on. Oh. Yes, finally taking a stance against you on this one. Finally? Yes, finally. So, like, there are other problems that you have with me, please, let's, let's hear it. Good, uh, let's talk about this whole you dating hot Ryan and not telling me about it. I thought that, you know, that's very strange. You know, I, we were having dinner together. That never really came up. I'm just kind of confused by this whole situation. Look, what I have with the other Ryan, that's just a fling. Why are you having a fling with someone who's such an ass? It doesn't make any sense. He's actually a pretty decent guy when he wants to be. Well, I don't understand what was wrong with me. I mean, I just, I don't understand. I mean, I did so many things for you, and I, you know, I make you coffee in the morning. I, I put breakfast together for you. Something it wasn't always healthy, but I did it, and you know, I tried to help out as much as yes, I possibly could. Yes, you tried, tried. That's the operative word. I mean, okay. Look, I, I appreciated it. I knew you were just doing it because you were trying to get me to like you. No, I did it because I do like you, and I like helping you. That's why I did it. Yeah, I knew that you liked me, okay? And you knew that I wasn't interested. No, and no, you no, still... no. You never once flat out just said, Ryan, I'm not interested in you. You just kept stringing me along. And I don't know why you did that. Why are we fighting? Despite being a pain sometimes, you were one of the good parts of this job. I mean, you were this great friend. Oh, and... yeah, a friend. You know what, I was right. Don't ever date anyone in the film industry. Why did you have to ruin tonight? This is not how it was supposed to go. Well, I'm sorry I showed up and ruined it for you. That's not what I mean. I know Hot Ryan or whatever came with me to the party, but that didn't mean I didn't want to spend time with you. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know what you want from me. I really. Was that there just to shut me up? I have to go. Dude. Dude, are you okay? <coughs> you want some more champagne, buddy? You know, Ryan, after seeing you like this, I'm just gonna stop stressing about all the other girls. Their loss. Her loss? Really? Is she gonna be okay? We'll let this douchebag in here. He's good. Look, um, you just gotta get him out of here. My girl Laura is a little upset. And hey, why don't you get the hell out of here before I make you get out of here? Shelly, you are Superman. <laughs> so what's the deal with PDA? I mean, really, it's, it doesn't make sense to me. You know, like people, uh, you know, 
know, sit on the same side of a, a restaurant. What's that about? That doesn't make any sense. How do you eat? Come on. It doesn't. Because there's no room for your arms to move. You gotta have that buffer. White people.